Hello, I'm Ed Turner. I'm the creator of Insects in the Museum of Zoology. What I want to do in today's post is show you another mini beast you can find in your garden. It's a really fascinating one. It's a particular speciality for this time of the year. It's something called a bee fly. It looks like a miniature bumblebee, but it's actually a proper fly. And it's got a most amazing long proboscis feeding tube from its, from its head, which it uses to feed on flowers. It's something people often look, think looks a bit dangerous, but in actual fact, it's completely harmless, unless you're a solitary bee. And there's one just feeding, hopefully, in the flower bed just behind me. They can hover absolutely amazingly. Let's see if I can show you it. It's feeding on my flowers just at the back here. In his honesty, let's see if I can get close so you can see it. Beautiful little, little tiny bee. It even looks like a tiny bee. It even buzzes a bit like a bee. Well, as I say, it's not related to a bee at all. Can you see it there? This has got absolutely fascinating biology, which is that it's a parasite. It's a parasite of solitary bees that will often nest in your lawn. Things called minor bees they produce these little tunnels, which they lay their eggs in, and then they bring uh, their larvae pollen from your flowers. And what this little fly will do is it will sidle up, pretending to be a bee, right up to the entrance of their holes and then what it will do is it will flick its legs into the entrance of the hole with its feet. Completely extraordinary bit of biology. You can see hopefully its long tongue there as well. So these are an absolutely cracking, that hovering, uh, an absolutely wonderful bit of wildlife that you can see right in your own gardens this time of year. And they'll hopefully be around for the next few weeks still, so I'd encourage you to get out. This is a particularly good year for them, there's loads and loads of them around. So get out, see if you can find a bee fly.